Thanks, Katie. Well, school is back in session, but with recess and gym time often cut shorter in the schools, how do you keep the kids active and healthy? Author and Little League coach Kevin Christophora is here with some helpful advice. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, thank you. First of all, how do we keep the kids active and motivated when they're back in school? The truth is everything you don't want to hear it relies all on the parents. It takes a family commitment to get the kids outside. There's no magic, I wish somebody else would take my kids outside and play with them. You wanna take care of the house, you wanna get dinner ready, you wanna get homework going, you wanna do everything. Your kids love to play with you. I, I tell my kids, I had two of you so you can go play with each other. They, they don't, if I go outside, they'll play. I wanna play with your dad, I wanna play with your dad. So it, it's a commitment, it's family time. It's making it fun, making it different. Um, make an obstacle course, go outside, get a hose, get the chair, get something to climb under, get a target to throw something at, turn it into a little contest, run around, do something different. It doesn't have to be organized. We can only play if we have nine kids to play baseball or five to play basketball. Just make it up. Let your kids know it's okay to be bad at something, mm -hmm. you know, try something new. Okay, and I know that you um, have written, you have written some books on this. We have a couple of them right here. Um, you have some children's books. Tell me about your books. Uh, the books were an inspiration for what I do every day. They're, they're geared to little kids. Um, I used to get frustrated that kids were showing up and they didn't know the basics of the American pastime. And I realized that's why they brought them to me. And, and I shouldn't be frustrated. A lot of the parents didn't even know what, how to play baseball with the melting pot of America. It, it skipped a generation, computer time, on-screen time, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's less green, more green. Try and get your kids outside playing more a and bring them to a coach, let them teach them some basics. These books in particular are educational on top of being bedtime reading. I know you do see a lot of benefits to team sports, right? Correct. Well, what's the benefit? Uh, you know, there's, there's role models. There, there's the things that just happen that you, that you don't even know it's happening through practice, um, respecting each other, um, learning how to work with each other, being part of a team. It's not just me doing one thing to win. It really takes three or four or more um, working together. Um, that self-confidence that, that they learn, that they get from the little successes along the way. It just, it happens. You don't even teach it. Mm -hmm. You just give them the ability. Thank you so much for being here. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but look in the stores for his books right here. The, the, the Hometown Series, I believe it's called. The right? Hometown All-Stars. Hometown All-Stars Series, and you can look for them in stores. It's time now to reveal our special keyword of the day. It's math. Enter the keyword at rewards.wrac.com. Turn 2,500 points. You can use those points to play games or win prizes. 8 News will be 